Hi, this is Laurel with Mirepoix USA, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to devein a lobe of foie gras. This is a little bit of a messy job, as you'll see, but the first thing to understand is that the lobe of foie gras is actually made up of two lobes. So the first thing that you need to do is actually separate those lobes. The, the foie gras will break up a little bit in this process. You can see that there are some veins here and that is what we need to take out. The, the smaller lobe has less veins. Um, the, the large lobe has one upside down Y-shaped vein. And what you do is just try to move away the flesh without breaking it up too much and follow the vein with your finger, gently pulling, pulling the vein out. This is really best done with your fingers, so you can use a knife as needed. If the foie gras breaks up, the best thing to do is, um, after you're done deveining it, simply put the pieces back together and uh, wrap it tightly in some saran wrap and then uh, re re get the shape again and then just put it back in the refrigerator and let it, um, let it chill for a while until it... Um, becomes hard again and it will not be quite like it was but pretty close. The other thing you want to do while deveining the foie gras is to remove any um, discoloration such as this area of blood right here. You just um, use a small paring knife to cut out any discolored area. There may possibly be an area of green um, which you'll also want to remove. good to have some paper towels on hand to clean both the knife and your fingers which will get quite messy. I don't think I quite have that whole vein gone although that had a very very fine vein it really wasn't much. I'm going to get some of this discolored area and this little membrane out here. Oh, there's another vein. Okay. The veins really are not very large and in fact if you're searing the foie gras you really don't need to remove them at all. You can simply um, slice the foie gras and if you see any visible veins take them out before you sear it. But the searing process will um, actually get rid of most of the veins. The main time you want to really be sure to get out the vein is if you're doing a terrine where the veins may give a slight bitter taste to the terrine. Okay, I've just found a small vein there. There we go. This is a little bit like working with Play-Doh. People get a little bit nervous because it is a fairly expensive product and to kind of tear it up like this to get the veins out um, is sometimes difficult. But really it's, it's quite pliable and will um, recover from the um, loss of shape. You can, you can actually just reform the shape and it will survive just fine from that. Here's a large piece of membrane in the smaller lobe here. The foie gras should be put at room temperature, um, probably left out for two or three hours before you begin the deveining process. It's best if the foie gras is at room temperature before you begin this. If it's too chilled, it will be brittle and it will definitely break. At this temperature, it's much more pliable 
and much easier to remove the veins. Okay, there was the large vein in that one. This looks pretty clean now. There may be a few remaining pieces, but that really is just about all there is to it. For more information about foie gras, preparing foie gras, serving foie gras, foie gras recipes, or to buy foie gras online, please visit our website, www.mirepoisusa.com. Thank you.